Hi guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Margaret, but I think you might know me from Instagram, where my account is 7 Plaza, same name as it is here on YouTube, and my other Instagram account, which is 7 Plaza Curiosa. First of all, let me mention that I am Dutch and not English, so my English isn't perfect, far from it. So excuse me for my silly accent and my stupid mistakes. Uh, also, I have no clue how to edit yet, so this is all one take, so what you see is what you get. Um, I'd like to thank all of you for the nice comments you left for me on uh, here on YouTube and on Instagram and all the encouragement. It really got me going to do more crafting and that's why I'm getting back straight into it um, with some craft along with me. It's not a tutorial because I am nowhere near that yet. Um, but I'd like to, to make something that I made uh, last summer. I made these uh, ephemera accordion folders uh, and I sold them on my Instagram and they were really, really popular. They were so popular that I had to do some custom orders and one of my dear customers um, asked me um, by the end of December to make her one uh, in a French or Paris sort of theme. So that's what we're going to do. Um, I am going to use uh, some papers by Antique Papery. Uh, she is on Etsy, has lovely, lovely digitals and is so very inexpensive. Unfortunately, the papers that I'm using today, she no longer has uh, in her shop, but I'm sure you can find some other ones. And I'm also going to be using um, this digital that I received from the lovely Barbara from By Bar Paper Stores, good friend of mine. Um, these are vintage um, perfume labels and are very French. So I'm, I'm thinking about doing some ephemera things with these. I did a lot of preparations beforehand uh, because I do not want this um, video to be three hours long. This is the base for the accordion folder. This is my template that I made and I have the measurements in here. I also put some measurements uh, on a card for you. Mind you, I work with centimeters. I do not work with inches yet. It's a little bit difficult for me. So bear with me if uh, that's uh, uh, what you're used to. These are the measurements. If you have any questions about them, please uh, ask me in the in the comments. Um, let me tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to get my scoreboard. I got a new one. I used to have a very small one that didn't fit A4 pages. And now I have this one. It is huge. I found it um, in a thrift shop at the, um, uh, the station for crafting supplies and what have you. I think it's for children because it has a dog on it. And it is all in centimeters. So that is very nice. When I mass make something, when I make something again and again, uh, I like to make marks on the uh, scoreboard where I'm going to do the scoring. So according to the, it's upside down, according to the measurements, the first score is at five and a half centimeters and then one and a half centimeters. This is 12, one and a half, and then you're left with nine. If it's going to be a little bit different, that's okay. Do not make this too wide or too narrow and also always be sure that this part overlaps so you have a nice closure. What we're going to do next is um, cut the papers according to these sizes. We have uh, panels. I want to cover this panel, this panel, even the small one here, the large panel on the inside, this panel, this and this partially. I do not want to uh, cover this panel because the accordion is going to be inside here. So let me just show you one uh, panel that I'm going to cut. I'm going to use my Fiskars um, cutting machine. I really enjoy this one. I It cuts just the same as all the other ones, but there's a big difference with this one compared to the cheaper versions. Um, this slot here, um, it holds your blade, so you know where to cut precisely. But when you put your paper on it, the slot disappears. Now Fiskars has 
I maybe some other um, cutting machines have these as well, but I have not found one yet. This um, one has a sort of a metal wire, like a guitar here, <laughs> and that shows you where the slot underneath is. So the cutting will be very, very easy. You can see exactly where you're supposed to cut. So first of all, I'm going to cut off the white edges. And there we go. I printed these with my old printer. I have a new one. I love it. Um, that also um, prints and scans A3 size and prints on very heavy material. So big, big improvement. So according to um, these measurements, I have to have one piece five and a half centimeters, one and a half, twelve, one and a half, and nine. What I like to do is leave a little bit of a border, as you can see, around um, the edges. Um, so I'm going to cut it a half a centimeter um, shorter than is on the paper. So for instance. I need five and a half, so I'm gonna do five. I'm gonna do it down here because I can see much better over here than over there. Now, when I cut this, I cut straight through the flowers. I don't know if I like that. So, what I'm gonna do is take a little bit off first. Because I like to see more of the flowers. There we go again. Same with cutting uh, papers where cutting off birds' wings and butterfly wings. I always, and heads of people, I always have a problem with that. So it's going to be five centimeters. And there you go. So then this would be a panel that goes on top here. I already have a panel for this, so I'm going to use this one for the inside panel. And what I like to do is ink around them. Ink around the edges. I'm gonna use vintage photo because that is very popular. I myself am a walnut stain kind of girl. I all also see uh, different people do have different techniques of inking. I do it just like this. I like to go around the edges a little bit and what I especially do is take the corners a little bit heavier, inking. I find that more realistic. But it could be me. There you go. This is also printed on um, uh, normal copy paper. There you are. Well, here's one I made earlier. <laughs> These are all the parts that I'm gonna uh, that I'm gonna use. I want to start with the one over here with this little adorable little boy. I'm gonna put it over here, but I want to make it like this. It has a, a rounded corner. Let me get my new corner punch. Oops! And my goes my watch, washi tapes. I just received this from uh, my uncle Ali <laughs> and it works just fine. The problem is with these corner punches uh, that it works perfectly on cardstock of a little bit heavier paper, but when you have copy paper, it just tends to eat it instead of um, cut it. There's a trick for this. I'm going to take another piece of paper. Put it underneath and hopefully it works if it doesn't i'm gonna cry and then it cuts perfectly see why am i cutting this because i also uh, want to have the corners rounded on the paper that we're going to put on top but now we're going to have to go back and ink the corners again for a little bit there we go Oh, now we can start gluing. I uh, like to use my glue stick for gluing. It works the fastest. And this is my sort of 
glue book. There you go. I sometimes see people use a glue stick that is blue or purple. And it just, it scares me. <laughs> I'm like, will you see, will it disappear? Will you see through it? I i don't know. I just stick to the clear one. There you go. Try to leave the borders equally on all sides. And also the nice thing about glue stick is that you can still move it about a little bit. There you go. And there's one. Also have some smaller edges, not these ones. Already inked. And there you go. There is one part of this folder that we will not glue on yet because I'm gonna have a closure that needs brats. So I'm gonna leave it for now. I found this uh, from um, Antique Paper. Isn't it beautiful with the beautiful Eiffel Tower on it? I hope she likes it. I'm guessing she will. There we go. Gluing, gluing, gluing. If you want to see a good tutorial on this one, go to um, Roxy Creations. Uh, Rach, Rachel has a do it the right way. Has a really good tutorial on this, and she also found it somewhere else. So I think there's a lot of girls that made these and put videos out on it. But this is my version. And there you go. Another little strip. I have to shout out to, to Rachel and to Barbara from 49 Dra Dragonflies, Gail Costinelli. Tina, Shabby Dabby Duda. These women have taught me everything that I know. I listen to them often while I craft. There you go. And then we're gonna have this part. I have some lovely flowers in mind. Isn't that beautiful? Love it. I'm gonna turn a page. me a long time to start a YouTube channel. It's really scary. It still is really, really scary. But I'm just, I'm just gonna go with it. I don't know if you like it. Or if you can understand the thing that I'm saying. <laughs> there you are. Because sometimes I have questions. How do you make this? What do you do? You do with that and and such. And, and I do make some Instagram small videos but you're only allowed to do 15 minutes i guess it's so pretty well it could be done but it's not done <laughs> we still have uh, a lot of ways to go i'm gonna put this one on the inside and this one over here i am going to glue this one Also a very good channel to watch if you like some technical stuff like this. For me is Nick the Booksmith. She is amazing and she's so funny. She's so so funny. I have my preferences for every style of um, crafting. For collaging I really like Barbara. And to just for fun. And in the background, Gail is so, so sweet. She's such a sweetheart. And she, she does everything really, really well. There you go. I can put this on. So I was not going to glue this one yet. 
um, because I wanted to make a closure using um, the digitals from Barbara. I don't know if she uh, if she really owns these. If she owns these, I'm so jealous because they are beautiful. I sometimes see them and they're so expensive. And they're not damaged at all, so I'm guessing these are just prints from the internet. I'm using my new scissors again today. I'm going to use this one. As it is, it is very flimsy, but I'm going to back it on uh, some cardstock. There we go. I used to be rubbish at cutting. Getting better at it, but... Um, uh, cutting circles I cannot do it so I invested in some circle punches well that was, exci was exciting seeing me cut <laughs> I'm gonna put it on here like so no 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 you're gonna ink it first Yep. When in doubt, ink it. <laughs> I think Barbara said that. And there we go. Glue it on. Also, mind you, always close your ink, uh, your inker, because sometimes the doorbell rings or your telephone or you want a cup of tea or go to the toilet and when you come back you forget you did not close your ink and it dries out it also goes for your glue try to close it when you don't use it anymore are we gonna cut this by hand or use a cutter mm. let's just use it because we have it well, why not leaving a little bit of a border on all sides And I'm also gonna, gonna ink this one. I am not going to round the corners. Am I? Yes, I am. I'm gonna round these corners. These are three um, measures in it. The smallest one is four millimeters. Ah, that's cute. I'm only gonna do the bottom half. What I want to do is put it over here, not put it on the boy's face. It is a boy actually, you think it's a girl, because, but it's a boy. And I'm going to put it like so, but I want to attach it with eyelets. So eyelets, no breath. Let's see, where do I have them? These are the eyelets, but I was talking about that and have some new ones. There we go. These are big. Is this gonna work? I don't know. I like them. Let's just see. One is gonna go like, oh no, they are both gonna go like this. Yeah. I like to use my pokey tool also known as uh, all let's see i'm gonna put it right here one here one here i'm gonna do it by eye i'm not gonna measure it because that will take a long time if you like to measure things by all means measure it there you go I am also going to put some glue on. I'm going to put some heavy glue on. The glue that I hate and love at the same time. Uh, the 3-in-1. Problem is, it takes a long time until it gets down. Yeah, there we go. It works perfectly. But most of the time it's like a volcano and stuff keeps coming out. 
come over the horse. There you go. So it's really, really hard. Put in my brats, see if it fits. Wiggle them around a little bit. These brats are like huge. But it'll work. It will work. Of course it will. Well, not if you bend them. <laughs> Lucky for me, I have like a million. Because I have a million of everything. As usual. Just about fit. Now, in an ideal world, I would have um, a certain kind of tape, a scotch tape, as they call it. It's like um, uh, tape for uh, like band aids or if you have medical tape. But I do not have medical tape, not yet. What I do have is some washi tape. And this is the washi tape that I never use, like all the other washi tapes I have. I use this for projects like these, and I cannot find the beginning. Then I'm just gonna use some expensive one. Yeah, so cute. We'll never see it. I'm just gonna put something over it. Not like this. I'm gonna put it like this. Why, you ask? I don't know. I just have a feeling I'm going to put it like this. So it will stay. Says Paris. We will never see it. <laughs> well, you, you know it will be underneath. So a little bit more glue. There you go. And now we can put this on top. Are we gonna use this one? No, the other one. This one. Oh, we can use this one. Let's use this one. Kinda like it. Already has the corners. Closing and the lid. Getting my glue. I have a reasonably sized craft room, but a very small desk. I have a bigger desk, but um, the bigger desk is my big computer screen for all my other hobbies because I am actually sort of a nerd. I love gaming. Oops. So if I'm going to be offline for a while, it's going to be because my new game is coming out. Let's see if this works. Hopefully it will. See? Ta-da! It works. Now it does not close because it will not stay like this. No, nope. we have something for this. We have this little, is this called Velcro dots? Also bought it at the thrift shop because that's where I get most of my treasures. Very, very cheap. One of each. Together, very sticky. Put them on here using a little bit more glue because I really want this to hold. I sure hope the top of my head is not in the picture. There you go. And 
on you hold it. Already love it. This one, when it is finished, it will go to San Francisco. All the way. Nice. No, it's not stuck yet. Let's be stuck on. While this dries, let's do the insides. What we're gonna do is make these. I saw uh, Tracy Fox do something similar with envelopes. She stuck and then uh, cut open. I am using um, pages from an encyclopedia or from an atlas. I already made uh, three. I want to make a fourth one. I'm gonna make it with you. There we go. The width is, I am guessing, I also put it down somewhere. Yes, the width is 20 and a half centimeters. So we're gonna measure 20 and a half centimeters. It is the width of the, of the map minus a half a centimeter because I want to have a little bit of a border. 20 and a half, which is over here. There you go. This is like an index paper. I like, I love index papers. I'll make envelopes with them or use them for these sort of projects. And then and the length was uh, twice this. So it's nine centimeters times two is 18 centimeters. I want to have it, uh, have it a little bit shorter, so I took off a centimeter, so it's going to be 17. There you go. 17, that's straight. Hopefully. What you can do is ink around it or uh, make a hole in it. I'm not going to do that. Simply gonna fold it in half, and instead of glue, I'm using tape. I recently got this one, I had a little small one like this, like a tiny one, and I really liked it. So I went to the store to get some more, and she said, Oh, we don't have small ones, we have big ones. <laughs> I was like, Yeah, give me the big one. Uh, it is a little bit more difficult to work with because it is really, really big. But on the other hand, there's a plus side to this one. Because I have so much trouble uh, with removing um, the peeling the, of the stickers and such. And this one removes very easily. And it sticks quite well. And there we go. And here's the other one. Now there's a trick to this. Uh, not with the peeling off, but with the actual gluing. When you do it like this, you can go uh, askew. But if you do it like so, start in the middle and then move it to the sides. Like this. You move it to the sides. <laughs> then it's, it's all done. I will attach this to the other three that I already attached together. Do not glue it all the way. Glue it only in the middle. Be heavy on the glue. It's like a strip of two or three centimeters. Be sure the opening is on the top and <laughs> the other side on the bottom. Line them up. There you go. Like so. this dry yet yep well the velcro works let me tell you that <laughs> worked really really well there you go yep there's the accordion and you can put lovely things in here 
Am I going to attach it? Not yet. I am going to do something on the back. This is a lovely little envelope that my friend Leonie from Junk Journal Paper Sale made with beautiful antique ledger. And I'm going to use it as a pocket. So again, where's my strips? I already inked it, just to save a little bit on time. I have no idea how long this video is. Normally I hear Gail say it, how long is this video? And I'm like, well, it's 20 minutes or an hour. But if you're doing it yourself, you completely lose track of time. I can tell you that. So I'm sorry, Gail. For doubting you all this time. There we are. Perfect. Also, I want to do something on top of here. Let's get my treasure box. And while I'm doing that, let's check the time. 31 minutes. Well, I wanted to do 20, but that's not gonna happen. I want to put something on top. Let's do like a ticket, something like this. Sure, let's cut it a little bit. Don't think about it, just do. I made these labels myself. This is from also an atlas or something. Uh, this is the, the map part, but this was the part that said stuff. I don't know, but it looked really interesting. So I thought, why not turn the map around and make something different than normal. I'd like to do some things like unusual. There we go. I also want to put something like this. Um, these are die cuts of pull clips. And I do not own this die cut. Unfortunately, I don't. My friend Cindy at Hippie Stippy Papers made these for me. She has it. But it's very hard to find this small one. So she's told me it was from Russia or something so sometimes she makes them for me she's a lovely lovely person I want to also put some like thread in it green let's do green these are my scraps of yarn and what have you I'm gonna put it here there you go bit fiddly yep nice some glue put it on there lovely 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 now, where's my thing with Jiggy? And here it is. I do not want to cover up. Of course, I do not want to cover up the Eiffel Tower. But I also hate to cover up this. It's so lovely. But that's the thing with journaling and collaging. I hate to cover up stuff. But that's the thing you do when you collage. You cover up stuff. Oh yes, these are so easy to peel off, she said. And there you go. Putting it over here. Yes. And I have some cute little cards. Also from Antique Papery. They all have Eiffel Towers or French stuff on it. So I was thinking, let's do these on top there we go and these two will they fit one moment to find out well they fit perfectly there you go also want to do one more thing over here i'm gonna punch a little hole 
Well, it works. <laughs> I'm gonna punch a little hole just in the corner over here. A small one. This is the small one. Put a baby eyelet in. I have these small ones. Aren't they so cute? I found all of these in a jar. Uh, with these are these are the small ones. I also have the big ones. Like all of this. No, not that one. Another one. In a big jar. It was at the thrift store. Two euros or something. I was very very happy. I can tell you. What color was this? Like bronze. Yep. Oops. It fits. And I also bought myself from Mr. Tim Holtz these mini pins. So I thought let's use some mini pins. Are they different colors? Are they different colors? I guess they are. I guess so. Cute. I tried to find some on AliExpress, of course, but Uncle Ali did not have them. Oh yeah, before I put them on, I want to have like a, a bangle on it. A little charm. In the same color. Guess how many I have? A gazillion. These are just the bronzy ones. I have a fleur de lis. That's really French. That's nice. These are really big. I have a crown. That would work. Fleur de lis would work. A rhinoceros. Not so French. A lighthouse. Oh, that'd be nice on the nautical one. Flower. Oh, yes. Yes. Look what I found. Yeah, well, do not have to think about this. This goes on here like so. Will it fit? Will it fit? Well, I don't think it will. No, no, why won't it fit? Because, because, dear Tim Holtz, they are too many. They are too small. Luckily, I have some from Uncle Ali. <laughs> oh, oh, see? Not always perfect, but this will work. Hopefully. Yep. Ta da! Too cute. And now the only thing left is to stick these in. I'm gonna start on this side. I'm heavily on the glue, only about two centimeters in the middle. Glue it, not all the way to the bottom, but a little bit above, within like the borders that we created. And there you are. Oops. And then we're gonna do the other side. Do it like this. Have this one straight, like so. Pull the last flap open, and when it's straight, put your hands in and press it. Press it. If you're gonna go all the way over there, it will not close or all the way over there. So this needs to be straight. There you go. There you go. I love it. Oh, where did this go? Mm, the cards they pulled in the little bit of string. Here you are. I like it. I'm gonna do a little bit more decoration. I'm guessing some labels and such, but I think you get the picture. Hope you liked it, guys. See you next time. Bye.